we got Drew's views here, and I'm back for a little Anna Monday, reacting to them anime on Monday. Today I'm up to season three, episode, I believe, 18, the sixth episode of the second half of season three here, of Attack on Titan. Excited to get into this one. Very sad episode last time, ending-wise, even though it was somewhat triumphant. The scouts regiment seem to get the better of all of the big three titan shifters here aka colossal titan armored titan and beast titan it was at the cost of armin who was uh did a rope a dope on Bertold, the, the colossal titan distracted him while aaron got around got out of his titan form sliced him out of the nape but armin got crisped up in the process sadly a um, little flashback at the end of it with him as a kid and meeting Aaron for the first time. I'm assuming Armin's done. I mean, I don't think, you know, even injecting a Titan thing at this point could bring someone back to life. We haven't seen that at least. Uh, I don't know if there's something in the basement if we ever get down there finally that could somehow bring him back to life. I'm not expecting it. We did see that Hanji and her team were still alive. They popped back out to help with Armored Titan who's maybe dead, Reiner, I don't know, he's extremely, extremely hard to kill, but they've at least got him out of his titan form at the very least. They got Berthold in custody, Aaron has him, and Zeke escaped, Zeke the beast titan escaped on the other talking titan, that's the little freak one that runs on four legs, weird looking turtle mouth one, or frog mouth, don't remember what that guy's name is if we heard it at all, so yeah, I don't also, they did the whole charge also well, to get the Beast Titan down. Levi came around while Erwin and the team was charging out. Most of them died. They showed the one guy at the end who was, had been complaining in the prior episode is still alive. He's like the only one that's at least not very badly injured, it looks like. They didn't explicitly show Erwin dying, so I'm kind of feeling he's probably still alive. But he's injured, I would think. Um, but maybe he's dead, you know. But yeah, we gotta see what's gonna happen here. Obviously, I think Mikasa's gonna be very upset about Armin, of course, as along with Aaron, too. Let's see what they're gonna do here. Uh, let's see what they're gonna do with Bartold, try to get him to confess something. Well, I, I'm assuming what the plans are, or whatever. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm ready to get into it. I'm not sure what this episode's called. I'll find out shortly. Cold open here, it looks like. Damn, Armin is mummified. I mentioned in my recap last episode too, but it's a huge loss, obviously, for the scouts and for humanity as a whole. See, he was so smart and came up with the plans. So now we're gonna see the ocean now. Wow, there's that freak with Zeke. Interesting, so I know it's Grisha, huh? It makes sense because he seemingly came from that town. That's Levi for you. Oh, jeez. Still alive? June 5th, only on Hulu. Midnight Sun, huh? Maybe some eclipse or something. <laughs> okay, so that's how they're dealing with him. Does not look like himself. Story is gonna want to see that. Oh, 
Zeke mentioned, kind of mentioned that before too. Are they gonna pull some switcheroo here where Aaron actually got injected, or uh, Armin got injected already? That's how he can still be alive. Or are they gonna try to give it to him now that he's still somehow alive? Yeah, she's not only one of the ones who'd experiment. Is this the scene from the? Is this where they're gonna fight? The post uh, credits from last time. Uh -oh. Good job, Jean. Reiner, though. Uh, I guess I should have killed him when I had the chance. No characters are gonna die. Oh, is there one? All right. Oh shit! All right, I think I see what's gonna go on here. They're gonna, they're gonna have a disagreement whether who. They save Armin or Erwin. Damn, what a Sophie's choice we got. They can't do like a half and half. Which man, this is gonna be tough. I mean, they're arguably the two most valuable minds, at least, to humanity's success going forward, non-Titan-wise, at least. Well, just in general, mind-wise, yeah. Uh, and I guess this is what's going on with the that uh, after credit scene, which I thought was going to have to do something to do with the basement, but it seems like it's not. <laughs> We're never getting down there. Plutch, that's his name. Well, they're fighting each other. Zeke's gonna come snag Berthold. And he's more of a main character, slightly. But the chain of command, certainly. Would dictate Erwin, but would Erwin even want it himself? Or does he think Armin's more valuable? This is interesting. <laughs> Keeping him alive to punish him. Oh, where'd you come from, Honda san They're 
both gonna die if I don't make a decision soon. Did she lose an eye? Well, he was kind of listening at the mid-season finale when they were talking about it when he was by himself. Another thing I maybe should consider is, yeah, Mikasa and Aaron's mental state. They don't bring Armin back. So is Aaron gonna be the new Colossal Titan that means? That'd be crazy. Is he gonna switch to Armin at the last second? Or Armin's gonna tell him to? They end this episode without Sean, okay. So he did steal Armin, looks like. Well, they both have blonde hair, but it looks more like Armin. Yeah, I don't think so, Bertolt. So pretty brutal. Cheers to a legend. I think it was the right decision, but boy, it's a tough one. What's well, crazy now? Armin's a Titan too. So yeah, I mean, it's quite an episode. Obviously, I mentioned like Sophie's choice before. That's what people always say. Reference people always make when it's like a choice between two things. I've never even seen that movie. I think it's about like mom has to choose between which of our kids to has to die or something i think that's what it is kind of similar here obviously um and not you know not with kids or whatever but uh choosing between erwin obviously the commander leader of the scouts got them to this point and armin the, like the young kind of genius guy who's also somewhat gotten them to this point uh, you know with the things they mentioned in this episode they flash back to mikasa was talking about the things he's done we allowed his owner to make the choice then and we saw that's this is what uh, was that flash forward scene from the mid-season finale. Would not have predicted that, That I gotta say. I don't know how I would have. I mean, too bad they only had one injection. I'm not sure if I missed something of why they only had the one. I guess it's because it's the one they got from, you know, uh, what's his name there, Kenny. Um, and I'm assuming that means, you know, since they he ate Bertold gruesomely, not that he didn't deserve it, but, you know, it's still... Obviously, we don't know the whole backstory in Bertold and Reiner. Them. Reiner, who has nine lives, seemingly, he's escaped again with Zeke, but, uh, which I guess is John's fault, even though, you know, it was probably the right, you know, I, I understood it at the time, the right call to try to eat him instead. They didn't know the full thing anyway, and he did say, jump in and save Hanji, luckily, um, who I guess lost an eye, it looks like, uh, and lost the rest of her team, I guess. Yeah, so Bertold's eaten. I'm assuming that means Armin's 
getting the power to be Colossal Titan, which is pretty crazy. But he's already got a Colossal Brain on him, so fits, I guess. So was it the right decision? I mean, you could look at it a few different ways. Uh, with, just from a storyline perspective, makes more sense for Armin to stay alive. He's one of the, I would say, the three main characters are Eren, Mikasa, and Armin, even though Eren was one of the top characters as well, one of the main characters as well. Probably makes more sense from the narrative standpoint to keep Armin around, even though I really did th think we lost him, and I don't know, it's pretty improbable that he was still alive looking like a mummy like that, but I guess, you know, people get burned badly and to a crisp and still aren't quite dead yet. But from, you know, taking the narrative out of it from what the decision actually would be that Levi had to make, I think it was still the right thing. I mean, he did have his, obviously he had some more feeling for Levi than Armin, you know, Aaron's arguing with him, saying to save Armin because it's his best friend, uh, or one of his two best friends. Um, but Levi, even like showing, even the the mid season finale where he's by himself and overhearing them talk, you know, I, I guess that was foreshadowing to this a little bit. But you know, he doesn't ha really have anyone anymore except kind of Erwin, or until <laughs> this time. But Erwin did say, first of all, he did put Armin in charge of a team before this, um, and then did decided to go charging out thinking he was fully gonna die, which he almost did. It was interesting, the one guy, Fuchs or Fox or whatever his name is, the the reason he brought him over was interesting that, that because he was mad at them for, or Erwin, Erwin for doing the death charge, where he is now the only survivor, I guess, this redhead guy, uh, but he wants, he wanted him to stay in the hell, so. But on the flip side of that, Levi was like, uh, he want, because he's his friend and everything, and he did put in his time, I think he was like, all right, we'll let him rest at this point. Um, and he's going over in his head all the messed up people, like Kenny and everyone else. And yeah, Armin's the younger guy, and he is so smart and has a plan, so probably makes more sense. And like I kind of mentioned during it, the mental state, of, you know, Aaron's still kind of their top weapon operative here. You don't want his mental state to be too messed up over this more than it is already. And because as well, one of your main weapons from a soldier perspective. So play kidding them a little bit is probably for the best, even though it's kind of crazy. Like Erwin is literally the commander of the scouts. So like I said, chain of command should dictate he lives. But what is that what he would have wanted? I think he's probably fine with what happened, even though he didn't get to see what's in the basement. Are we finally going to get there next time? <laughs> now that everything's sorted away. I mean, it's not completely, but uh, I don't see why we shouldn't be able to get there at this point. I mean, maybe they have to. Maybe they're gonna be like, "Oh, we have to get out of here and regroup, or we're all they'll come back and kill us." I don't know. No, they. I mean, they gotta go find it out. But, um, but yeah, like I said, Reiner escaped again. Obviously, he had the note for a note from Ymir, so it'll be interesting to see what that's about for Historia. And then didn't. Yeah, I almost forgot about this because it was at the very beginning and it was a crazy episode. But uh, Zeke was talking to Leva. I mean, uh, to Aaron saying he's going to come back to rescue him, implying that, you know, we obviously know that they want Eren. We thought they want him for his abilities so they could eat it and steal it back, but does Zeke want him for keep him alive as himself? And just bring him back to the society? If that's where his father's from, Grisha, he, Zeke, seemingly knew his father, is saying, but didn't like him, thought he was a bad guy. I mean, I guess you would think that if he left and, um, you know, kind of betrayed them seemingly to the human world, but is it something more than that? I don't know. It seems something more personal, kind of. And yeah, but saying he's gonna rescue him, I don't exactly know what that's about. He thinks he, Aaron's in danger for the humans, and again, yeah, why does he want it? Yeah, it seems like it's he wants to him, keep him alive as himself, and personally bring him back to the society, I guess he thinks that's where Aaron belongs since his father was Grisha and they came from that world. Even though he obviously had Aaron with a human, a fully human person, so. I don't know, it's interesting though, and he did, yeah, he conveniently popped back up there to get a runner, but yeah, I talked about that already. So, yeah, where do we go from here? Again, R I, I thought it was R.I.P. Armin last time, but should have known better, he's still alive, but it's R.I.P. Erwin for real. He is the legend, uh, you know, the the moment from season two where he, after getting his arm bitten off, is still charging from the Titan's mouth, literally charging, leading the troops on, shouting them on, is probably one of the most epic things I've ever seen in an anime or in a show in general. 
and he's obviously a very smart guy and got them in a good shape. Now Armin's really going to have to uh, carry the ball down the field for him here. He can't have, like last episode or two, he can't have the lapses where he's unsure of himself at this point, and, and plus the whole wrinkle of yeah, being a Titan now as well. So is Mikasa going to be a Titan by the end of this series as well? I wouldn't put it past them to do that. So yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. It was crazy. R.I.P. to the legend, Commander Erwin. And I'm excited to see the next one. Join me back next day on Monday for that. Season 3, episode, I guess, 19. Please do subscribe if you like these and you're not already. Check out my other videos, anything like that. And until next time, I'm out of here. Salute and peace.